get a lot of questions from people asking um, what do we do during a pond clean out so this morning we're uh, doing a pond clean out and uh, this one here is about um, I'm guessing about 800 gallons worth of pond how do we know I'll show you this is one of our two quarantine tanks this is our dirty tank the second one over here is our clean tank. This is where we put our fish that, would, that come out of the pond. So the dirty tank, what we do with this is, is we pull the surface water out of the pond and fill it with that. And so that way, when we are, um, when we get the fish out, then we can start blasting the rocks and the muck and everything that's on the bottom of the pond towards the bottom, towards the discharge pump, and the discharge pump runs out to the street. So right now what you're, what you're looking at is you're looking at the fish um, at that point where they're ready to be moved over into quarantine. We've got this pond here that is pretty filthy. During a clean out, we're gonna repair things like this fallen rock shelf right over here, get the gravel that's, that was here that's gone to the bottom of the pond and put that back up top where it goes. Same thing over here, get this all clean and pretty back up. Some of the plants are gonna get trimmed and cleaned off. Some of the other plants are gonna be left like this society garlic is just looking really beautiful. And then along the edge of the waterfall, you see how the liner is showing over here. Finally, we'll take the um, skimmer apart, take the pump out, clean and service the pump, the filter pad that's inside here, as well as the filter pads in both of the biofalls. So the next step is, is to get the fish out of the pond, get them into quarantine. So with our quarantine tank, you see that we've got aeration running and we're going to detoxify that water with pond detoxifier and the pond detoxifier is uh, chlorine and chloramine neutralizer and then we chase it with an, with an ammonia neutralizer because chloramine broken apart creates ammonia inside the water so we're going to bind the ammonia and we're going to detoxify against chlorine and chloramine so your fish are going into a really clean, healthy environment right over here. Plenty of oxygen. Water temperature is going to be within a few degrees of what's inside the pond over here. And uh, we're going to get to work. I'll show you later on in this video here what it looks like when we're done. So stay tuned. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens. Enjoy the video. So this clean out is in its final stages. Um, what we've had to do here has uh, has actually been um, pretty average for most cleanouts. In the first half of the video, you got to see um, some of the stuff that we went through as far as our setup, our tools and equipment. But I wanna show you the final stages and some of the things that you might expect that you might need to have done uh, with your cleanout. So check it out. This pond is, is old and I wanna say it's probably about a good eight years, maybe 10 years old or so. And a lot of the gravel that was on this shelf here has been pulled away over time from uh, pulling out plants and that sort of thing because the roots, they just kind of attach to this. So uh, it may come time that you need to add uh, some extra gravel. In this particular case, I'm thinking that we need maybe an extra half a yard, which is five wheelbarrows, to spread up between here, this shelf over here in front of the skimmer over here, going up the waterfall. And you see along the side of the waterfall over here where the liner is showing, I'd like to be able to cover that up too. So that's one of the things I'd like to be able to do. Um, biofalls are both clean. So you can see the uh, lava rock bags are good to go on this side as well as on the second biofalls over here. And um, what we did is we used the dirty water from this tank here to clean the pond and give heavy rinses. But this water over here has been specially prepped for the fish. And we're about ready to pump this back into the pond over here. This is 500 gallons of water. And you can see that we've got aeration running on these guys. And they're kind of hiding from me because they're scared. But um, this 500 gallons of water is going to be our first pump back into the pond. And as soon as this water goes in, then we're going to go and check the water meter at the street. And see what the current water reading is and then just have the customer turn off the pump and take a look at the water reading when they're done and now we know how many gallons this pond is i'm guessing this is about 800 gallons maybe um but we have cleaned this pond for years this client has been a very very uh, loyal and faithful client of ours for many many years and it's just really fun to be able to come and visit her yard every spring and get her pond ready to go so 
if you have any questions about what we do, some of the methodology, some of the things that you see going on in this clean out, put your comments down below. In the meantime, I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens, reminding you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I interact with you. I answer 100% of every single question that's put on throughout my channel and also because doing clean outs right matters. Happy ponding.